Hi everyone. In this lesson, we'll be looking at a very important man in the history of Pompeii, a very important man in the history of archaeology. We'll be studying Amadeo Maiori, and he is the most important archaeologist who worked at Pompeii in the 20th century. There have been lots of archaeologists who have worked at Pompeii in the 20th century. And of course, there were archaeologists in the 19th century and even in the 18th century. Pompeii has been excavated over the last 250 years or so. But Amadeo Maori is one of the most important men who worked there, especially in the 20th century. So we'll be taking a close look at him in this lesson. He was born in 1886 and he died in 1963. He was an Italian archaeologist. A lot of the archaeologists who worked at Pompeii were Italian. Giuseppe Fiorelli was Italian, but not all of them were, but, but a lot of them were Italian. He is famous for his work at Pompeii. So he's a, he's a famous Italian archaeologist, but he didn't go and work in Egypt or Greece or somewhere. He's famous for his work at Pompeii. In 1924, he was made the chief archaeologist in Pompeii. He served as director until 1961. So you can see he worked there for decades and played a very prominent role for many years. In 1927, archaeological excavations at Herculaneum resumed under the supervision of Amadeo Maori. So this is a picture of Herculaneum. So he worked at both Pompeii and Herculaneum. His aim was to restore the town as close as possible to its state in 79 AD. From 1927 to 1929, the whole area of Insula III was excavated. This includes the House of the Skeleton. Magnificent houses such as the House of the Mosaic Atrium were uncovered. The House of Stags and the Central Baths were also uncovered. So he's done a great deal of archaeological work. He's excavated things and, uh, and brought them to light. And with some of these buildings, um, you know, like the House of the, the Surgeon and, and so on, or the House of the Skeleton, uh, you know, they just they just named it after after those particular things. Like the, the House of the Fawn, for example, they had a little statue, just one little statue of a fawn outside, you know, in the in the house. So that's how it got its it got its name. So we, we don't really know what the buildings were called in ancient times, but we might have they might have found an artifact or something which helped give it give it its name. From 1933 to 1942, work was carried out on the palestra. That's the exercise ground. That's uh, uh, where people would exercise, uh, especially um, uh, the gladiators and other people. The House of the Jewel and most of Insula VI. The work was interrupted because of World War II. So World War II started in 1939. It finished in 1945. Uh, Hitler lost, the, Hitler, the dictator of Germany, lost the war, uh, but he was actually allied with the Italian leader, Benito Mussolini. So Italy was involved in World War II on the side of the Germans. Uh, Hitler was a fascist, Benito Mussolini was a fascist, so they joined up together on the same side, um, but Italy wasn't a very useful ally. I Italy really didn't do much in World War II, and uh, it was the Germans that did most of the work and Italy didn't do much to help them, and uh, but anyway, Italy ended up losing, and that they were affected by the war, and so this also interrupted the excavation at Pompeii. The site of Pompeii was damaged due to bombing in 1943. So isn't that extraordinary? In 1943, which was the height of the war, about the middle of the war, uh, Pompeii was actually bombed. I think there was 160 bombs that landed on the site. But uh, isn't that amazing? It was an ancient city destroyed 2,000 years ago, but even in modern times, it was affected by World War II and actually bombed. Maori resumed work after the war. He worked rapidly for 10 years and cleared 10 insula, which is like 10 neighbourhoods or 10 blocks. His methods have been criticised, especially his lack of systematic documentation. He chose to excavate one of the most famous houses of Pompeii, the House of the Surgeon. 
So this is called the house of the surgeon because it's believed a surgeon owned it or a surgeon lived there. Uh, they might have found some medical equipment or medical utensils that led them to that. And so that's why it's called the house of the surgeon. He excavated the Casa del Efebo in Pompeii and discovered a small bronze statue known as the Placentarius. So Amadeo Maori did a lot of excavation and he also did some restoration, restoration as well. He was a very important archaeologist who worked at Pompeii. So anyone who studies Pompeii in the 20th century and the archaeology of Pompeii needs to know Amadeo Maori. And even when I went to Italy, even when I went on my tour of Pompeii, I actually had a, a tour guide who said that she knew Amadeo Maori or she'd gone to some of his conferences or something. I think she said she met him. So um, even my tour guide actually met him. And um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that you know, I went to Pompeii and I actually met a tour guide who knew him. So um, you know, he, he was a very important archeologist and he played a major role in archeology span in Pompeii in, uh, in the, the 20th century and did a lot of excavation work.